This school year, Splendora ISD requires parents to register all returning students through Family Access. To log into your Family Access account, go to the Splendora ISD website at www.splendoraisd.org, as I have typed here. Under the scrolling pictures, you will see the Family Access icon. If you forgot your username or password, you may click here and type your username to reset your password or your email address for an email to be sent to you to give you your username. If you know your username and password, type it here and click sign in. This will take you to your Family Access account. The last icon says New 2020-2021 Returning. Click here to start your registration. Click on Start. Step one is verifying the student information. Your address, phone numbers, any other information that is asked. If you have changed your address, you must provide a new proof of residence. You may upload it here. Once completed, complete and next will take you to step two. These are your emergency contacts. You may provide up to four contacts of those persons that you would like for us to call in case you are not available in case of an emergency. Once you have completed, complete and next. This will take you to step three. Step three is our annual forms that is required by the state and local. Annual forms link here. You would click on it and it will take you to a Google form. You must provide information on all items that have the red asterisk. The first form is asking you which learning model you would like your children to have, on-site or remote. This is very important for us for scheduling purposes. When you're finished with this form, click Next. This will take you through several forms that you will need to complete. Once finished, you would submit and close out and it will take you back to Family Access. Now you may complete and next the step to take you to step four. This is verifying the race and ethnicity that we have on file for your child. Please verify that what we have is correct. Once you do so, complete and next. Step five is our annual health survey. If your student has any health conditions, you may let us know by clicking on the hourglass and providing us with which health condition your child may have. If you need to give us more information, you may type a note here. If you, there, your child has more than one health condition, you may add another by clicking on the plus. If there are no health conditions, you may just complete and next. The last step is for our high school students that drive to school. To receive a parking pass, we must have information on the vehicle. You may put this information here. Once completed, you would submit the form. You will get the returning student confirmation by receiving a thank you for completing registration. We hope your student has a great year. It's a great day to be a Wildcat. To return to the dashboard, you may click here. Thank you.